In Montreal's most densely populated neighborhood, a residents association is supporting a new condo development along St. Catherine Street near Concordia's campus. The Shaughnessy Village Association worked with the city and Mayor Trombley to have the former Seville Theatre torn down with high-rise towers going up in its place. The association's president, Roger Peace, says he wants the redevelopment to add life to an area home to many of Montreal's marginalized and homeless people. For many years, um, it, it had a bad reputation because of uh, Cabot Square, uh, for one thing, being a, a, a venue for drugs. Um, the uh, Seville Theatre block on St. Catherine Street, uh, which gradually um, deteriorated over 20 years, uh, and we finally uh, got the city to knock it down and put up some, uh, some condos. Mm -hmm. So there is now um, a large uh, interest by the city and uh, Quebec the government to revitalize the area of what we call Shaughnessy Village, which is from Guy Street to Atwater and from Sherbrooke down to Souvenir Street. A lot of this interest in market condominiums comes from students living in the community, as well as families of future Concordia students. Because of Shaughnessy Village's proximity to the downtown campus, it seems the university is influencing development further west toward Atwater Avenue. Personally, um, I, I like it. I think it's great to have the young people, the input of the young people, the energy uh, that the, the young people um, bring to, to the area. Um, there, there are some problems, you know, people, people move into the area and, and they don't necessarily know the rules or regulations. Uh, for instance, you know, they'll throw their garbage out on the wrong day or, you know, th little things like that which we try to, try to help with. Um, but basically, uh, personally, I think it's great. But again, there are some people that think, you know, the Concordia are just going too far and they're, over, they're just trying to take over the whole area. Concerns have been raised by some in Shaughnessy Village who fear gentrification will push out low-income residents and see rents increase. But according to Peace, the city wanted to revitalize Shaughnessy Village ever since the economic impact caused by the closure of the Montreal Forum. Once the Forum went, um, a lot of, uh, as you say, a lot of the stores closed, restaurants went down, uh, you know, fast food places that used to uh, um, be busy with the, with the crowds coming in and out of the, uh, of the Forum. Yeah, that changed it a lot. And as the places got run down, um, other people, drug people came in, um, started setting up. Uh, there were a lot of uh, run-down apartments available where, where people, uh, drug people went in to do their business or to, to, to just crash. Um, and it was, it was really, it, it, it was, it was, I would say like 20 years ago, it was not a particularly good area. Opposition to the destruction of the Seville Theater was voiced by Phyllis Lambert, who founded the Canadian Center for Architecture, which is located in Shaughnessy Village. Lambert wanted to see the Seville and its heritage status preserved, but the building remained neglected until it was torn down recently to make way for condos. There's always opposition to, 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 to anything that you try to do. Somebody will always say, you know, it's not right, it's too big, it's too small, it's too high, it's too, you know, whatever. Yeah, there was some. Uh, but I, th I think, you know, it, was, it, it went to public consultation, the whole development went to public consultation, as the whole development area has gone to public consultation. <clears throat> and, yeah, there was some. Uh, but I think over, overall, everybody sees that this is a big step forward for the for the area. You may have <clears throat> you may quibble about you know whether it should be twelve condos should be twelve stories high or or ten stories high. But you know basically, I think everybody knows that it is going to clean the area up, and and that's what we want. Now the because the community is changing, and there are like you say a lot of homeless and a lot of drug mm -hmm. addicts in the area. I mean, what, is there going to be anything done within Shaughnessy Village to to help those people? Maybe I don't know if it's necessarily going to be done within uh, within Shaughnessy Village, but there is a, a, there are various committees and um, people working on on the homeless and and, and the uh, you know the Inuits. We have a lot of Inuits downtown. Um, Shay Doris has been uh, very um, active in hiring. Uh, street workers, Inuit street workers, to work with the people who are, who are, live on the, on the street. It is getting much better. It's a everybody realizes it's a very very difficult problem. Um, I don't know exactly how it's being solved, but at least uh, the city is very very aware of it now, and uh, it's it is going to become part of a program which is currently being put together. For CUTV News, I'm Adam Bema.